get to talk about the insulation resistance test. This test is very important to make sure that the insulation can withstand a constant stress for a specified length of time without breaking down. The main reason for using DC instead of AC in this test is that DC presents a constant stress on the insulation material, but the AC is a constantly varying stress which allows the insulation to recover to some extent when the voltage falls into the through of the waveform. The DC stress is constant and will not allow the stress on the insulation to recover until the stress is removed or the insulation breaks down. Now we will use our test equipment which is CA6545 Megometer, this one from Chauva Arnoux company, it's a French company and the object to be tested is uh, the VT voltage transformer. Okay. Uh, now we'll do the one example that uh, I will check the insulation resistance between the primary and secondary of the VT. So I will connect the positive from the uh, megometer to the primary of the VT and the negative to the secondary of the VT. Now I will go to setup menu. I'll press second then V slash time. I will choose here the, the time for injection to be only one minute. It's now one minute. Then I will go to, to inject 2.5 kV. First I'll press second and then V slash time and then start my test. He can show me here that the time is starting from one minute and then it will go down. After the one minute is uh, finished, the test will be stopped automatically. You can show also, you can press V slash time to show the voltage uh, which is injected. As we can see, it's a 2550 and the resistance is increases with time. Sure, because as we know, the solution is uh, represented by capacitance and resistance in parallel. It's still 17 seconds is remaining. And as we said in the beginning, that this test to make sure that the insulation can withstand the voltage or constant stress of voltage for a specified uh, uh, length of time which is one minute so the results now with me is 3.18 tero